Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a website for your skincare business using Shopify. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create a beginner-friendly website, and you can follow this video if you sell skincare, beauty products, and more. And I'll also be covering how to customize your navigation links, and I'll cover a few tips how to create a more advanced style skincare or beauty website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To get started, you're gonna to wanna to open Shopify, then you're gonna click themes. And this is where you can go in and customize your currently published theme. And you can also choose to install one of Shopify's free themes. First off, I'll be showing you how to lay out your website's homepage. Then I'll be showing you how to customize each section and how to add and feature your product collections. When you click the full screen icon, it's gonna show you how the website appears in a full screen view. And when you click the mobile icon, it's gonna show you how it appears on a mobile device. As you're working on your website, when you click these three dots, then click view. This is where you can view your published website. First off, when you click on the announcement bar, you have a few different editing options for this section. And when you click the arrow back, this is where you can edit the announcement bar text. You'll also have the option to link the announcement text to another page within your website. For a more minimal look to this website, I'll be removing this announcement bar. I'm gonna click on the header, and here under desktop logo position is where you can edit the layout of your logo and your menu. I have this set to middle left, then here under desktop menu type is where you can choose to edit the display of the menu. I'll be setting the desktop menu type to drawer, and this will hide away that menu so that when customers click the three lines, it will show your menu drop down. I'm gonna click theme settings, then logo. And this is where you can upload your logo and your favicon image straight from your computer. Next, I'm gonna click add section to template. And here I'm gonna insert an image with text. I'll be turning this into a feature banner, so I'm going to scroll down and remove this image banner section. And here's how the layout of this section appears on mobile. Right below this, I'll be featuring a collection list. This is going to display each of your product collections. Here you can edit the heading title, and you can also edit the number of columns on desktop. So you can choose to show multiple of your collections. I'll be featuring six product collections, and then I'm just going to click on a collection, and I'm going to duplicate this. Then last, I'll be adding an image banner. Here for the heading, I'll be adding a call to action, and this will be an ending image banner. You can design this section to help push out a specific product collection or any discounted collection you want to feature. Then I'm gonna click theme settings and open colors. And this is where you can edit the main color scheme of the website. I'll be setting the background to a light pink color. Then you can edit the additional colors for the text and the button labels. And when you click on a specific section, here is where you can choose which color scheme you would like to assign to this section. And once you're done, that's how you can lay out your skincare website. Next, I'll be showing you how you can customize each of these sections and how to customize your main menu and footer menu. Here's an example of a more advanced version of this skincare website I designed. For a few different tips of how you can create a more advanced style website, you can choose to play around with different sections in Shopify. Here, you can add a few different featured collections to help display those collections. You can also choose to add an About Us section, an FAQ section, here I featured the brand's social media page, and if you have a blog, you can choose to feature a few of your blog posts. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're gonna receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. All right, now I'll be showing you how you can customize each of these sections. First off, I'm gonna click on the image with text. And here under image is where you can upload one of your product pictures or your brand pictures. Under image height is where you can edit the sizing display of your picture. And you can also adjust the image size under desktop image width. You can choose to place the image off to the right or the left side of the text. And when you edit the desktop content position, this is where you can edit the centering of the text and the button label. You can choose to apply an overlap for this content area. Then I'm going to click on the heading text, and this is where you can type in a title for this section. You can choose to put this text in bold, italic, and you can also insert a link leading to a specific page within your website. I'm setting the heading size to medium. 
Then for the text area, this is where you can type in a mini description. So if you are featuring a specific product collection or a new arrival, so you can talk a little bit more about those new arrivals. And here you can choose to increase or reduce the size of this text. You can edit the text style and you can even create a bullet list or a numbered list to list off some details about the product or collection you're featuring. You can title this button label and then you'll want to select a link for which page you would like this button label to lead to. And here's how this section appears on mobile. And here you'll want to enable the view all button if your store has more than these displayed collections so that when customers click that, it will take them to the all collections page. On mobile, it shows each collection one by one. You can choose to minimize this section on mobile. Under mobile layout, you can choose to show two columns at a time, which will show two of your product collections at a time. And you can also choose to enable the swipe on mobile so that customers can just swipe through. Next, I'll be showing you how you can create a product collection and how you can feature each collection here on this collection list. Here on Shopify, I'm gonna click products, then collections. I'm gonna create a new collection. And here is where you can title your product collection. You want to title this the name of the product category of products that you'll be adding. Next, I'm gonna save this collection. And when you click browse, this is where you can select which products you would like to add to this collection. And you can repeat that step to add more collections to your store. You can also add products to a collection by clicking products and opening a product directly. And here where it says collections, this is where you can select which collections you would like to add this product to. Next, you're gonna open your website. And when you click on one of these collection columns, this is where you can select each collection you would like to feature. And that's how you can link your collections to the collection list. When customers click on a collection, it's gonna open that collection page and it's gonna feature all the products that you added to this collection. Then I'm gonna scroll down and I'll be clicking on this image banner section. I'm gonna scroll up and I'll be removing the container on desktop. You have the option to edit the desktop content alignment. So you can position the content alignment off to the left or the right. Then you can choose to upload one or two images to be added to the background of this banner. Under image overlay opacity is where you can choose to make the overall image darker. This way, in case you have white text over, it can help to set the text apart from the background. Under banner height is where you can adjust the size display of this banner. I'm gonna click on this description text and here you can type in a mini description of whichever sale or collection you're promoting. Then I'm gonna click on the button label and here I'll be removing this second button label. And then you can title the first button label and you can link it to whichever page or collection you're featuring. And that's how you can design the ending banner section. And here's how this section appears on mobile. For the mobile view, here under mobile layout, you can select to stack the images on mobile and you can also select to remove the container on mobile. That's gonna put the text over an image. To edit your navigation bar, here on Shopify, you're gonna click navigation and here I'm gonna open the main menu. This is where you can edit or remove your current menu items. And when you click add menu item, this is where you can add links to new pages. Here I'll be adding a link to the all collections page. Then I'll be adding another link and you have a few different options. You can choose to add a link to your search bar. You can add links to specific product collections and you can also add a link to your blog page and your policy pages. Then I'm gonna save this menu. And when you go in to customize your website, here you'll see those new changes applied to your main menu. And that's how you can customize your main menu. Then to customize the footer menu of your website, you're gonna do a similar process. So here I'm gonna click navigation and I'm gonna open the footer menu. This is where you can add new pages to your footer menu. Then next, I'm gonna save this footer menu. Then here inside your website, I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and click on the footer menu. I'm gonna click this arrow and here under footer, I'm gonna click add block. This is where you can add different blocks to the footer bar. I'll be adding a menu block and you'll want to make sure that this is linked to your footer menu. 
Then I'm going to click add block again and I'm going to add an image block. This is where you can upload your logo. Under image width is where you can choose to increase the size of the logo. And here's how the display of the footer bar looks on a mobile device. And once you're finished, that is a beginner friendly way that you can design your skincare website and you can play around with adding different sections or different color schemes to your website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.